What's up and welcome back Odooers. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Approvals app. This app is pretty straightforward. Employees make a request, submit the request, and the designated approvers either deny or approve the request. It's that simple, so let's jump in and see how this all works. Here on my Approvals dashboard, I can see the various approval types that I can submit a request for, which are all pre-configured when installing the app. Now, these cover most situations where an approval is needed from business trips, renting a car, and even borrowing items that may not typically be at your workstation, and more. Here at Stealthy Wood, we recently collected our annual employee feedback, and we discovered a lot of employees want to throw away some items that are outdated, like unnecessary calculators, old slash smaller monitors, and just tools that weren't being used. Our employees were hanging on to things because they didn't know if they were able to just toss them out or recycle them, without prior approval, of course. Some employees use the general approval type, to submit these approval requests. However, they also suggested that we make a specific approval type for the situation, so we're gonna do that today. To start this off, I'm gonna click configuration at the top and select approval types. Here I can see all the types that appeared on the dashboard, and I can also reorder them by clicking the six dots on the left and just dragging them to another location. Now to make a new approval type, all I have to do is click new in the upper left-hand corner, and a blank approval type form appears. First, I need to enter a name for this approval type, so let's call this Asset Disposal. Now, if I want to enter a description, we'll do it in the field directly below, labeled as Description. And right now, I'm just going to paste mine in, which says Request for Discarding or Recycling Unused or Outdated Assets. Next, below that, we have our Automated Sequence option. If I want requests to be automatically numbered in the order they're submitted, I'll just tick this checkbox. When I do, a code field appears. This code will be used together with the number sequence for any request, so let's just call this dispo. Directly below, we have our options field. Here is where we can determine what appears on an approval request form, and for this instance, I'm going to require quantity and location, so we're going to tick those radio buttons next to the options. This way, I'll know where and how many items are being requested to be tossed. Now on the right, we have our approver section, and this is where we set up who is required to approve the request. I want the employee manager to approve any request, so I'll set this field to is required approver. Next, I can add any additional approvers in this approver section, and we're going to add Carol Smith because she manages all of our assets. And next to her name, I'm gonna tick the required checkbox because I want to add her to approve all of the incoming requests. Now, if I want these approvers to be done in order, I could tick the approver sequence checkbox, but I don't really mind who approves what first, so I'm going to leave this alone. Under that, we have our minimum approval section. It's currently set at one, but I'm going to change this to two. If there were multiple people listed in the approvers field and I left this at one, the request would be approved once the minimum number of people approved the request. So for example, if five people were listed under the approver section and the minimum approval field was set to two, the request would be approved as soon as the second person approved it. Perfect, this is all done now. Next, let's take a look at our products. To do that, I'm gonna select configuration and then select products. And when I do, I'm presented with our product catalog, which I could add to an approval if I wanted to. For example, if I needed a new chair floor protection, I can request this one in an approval. And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. The same goes for product variants. To do that, we can just click on configuration and select product variants. And these are just like what they sound like, the list of our variants of products that can be added to an approval request. Okay, now let's see our new approval type in action. Let's go back to the dashboard by clicking on the dashboard button at the top. And I could click on new request on the asset disposal card or I can just click on new request in the upper left hand corner. Then I'll just have to fill out this approval form. This is the default form for general approvals. So first I'll enter a subject like, let's say graphing calculator. Next I'll set the category to asset disposal. And notice how the form updates and only shows the fields that I set on the approval type form. 
Now, my name is already on the request owner field here. So I'll enter my location, which is the main office. And we can also add a description, which I'm just going to go ahead and paste in here, which is would like to recycle my graphing calculator since I do all tasks on my computer or phone. Last, I just need to enter how many graphic calculators I want to recycle. In this case, we're just going to do one. Now, I just have to click Submit. And we can see our record automatically updates and updated the approval subject field with the number, Dispo001. And that's how we make a new approval type and submit a request. Super easy to do. Thanks for watching and tune in to our next approvals tutorial where we'll dive into managing requests. Till next time, happy o-doing.